Hello, I'm Adam Barillet, Crystal Connections, and welcome to a very special video here. Normally when we're talking about essential oils, I'm just talking in my homeland around the bush, but I've actually come out to the West Australian wheat belt, and we're exploring a different type of eucalyptus essential oil today. Now this tree is native or endemic to Western Australia, and it's known, when you think of eucalyptus, you often just go, oh, eucalyptus is eucalyptus, but there's over 700 different species. This is eucalyptus kochi, sometimes also known as the West Australian Mali. So this is an amazing essential oil, which has been used by indigenous people on this area for thousands of years, especially to crush up the leaves and breathe in that beautiful eucalyptus smell, which really helps with respiratory health. The interesting thing about this species of eucalyptus is that it's the highest, up to 94% of 1,8 cineol or eucalyptol, which is very, very, it gives that, that eucalyptus smell and really helps with that kind of beautiful fragrance and that respiratory health as well. So in this video, we're gonna explore this eucalyptus kochi or the WIO Mali and look at how it benefits not only the body, but also the mind and the spirit. Of course, when it comes to eucalyptus, this is a really great oil for the respiratory system. Although it does need to be treated with a little bit of care because that 1-8 cineol can be quite overwhelming and the fumes can be quite intense, especially if you're a little bit more sensitive around the lungs. But it really helps to get that air into the lungs and really great to pop on the chest as well. I love to use my eucalyptus oils all throughout the day and night. I'll actually pop it in the shower in the morning so I'm getting that beautiful steam bath or throughout the day to help open up the respiratory system and help us relax a bit, or even at night as well. Other things that I find, it can actually be really great for cleaning surfaces around your house. It's known for being a bit antibacterial and antifungal and getting rid of all those nasties, as well as really, really great if you've got some aches and pains. Massage it into someone that's feeling a bit stiff and it can be a really great blessing in that way. So I've got it diffusing all the time. My house is being cleaned with it because of course it's an Australian native and I love working with Australian plants. And if an ache and pain comes up, give it a bit of a rub and see if that can do the trick as well. On a mental level, this is a really uplifting and awakening essential oil. Diffusing it or inhaling it is really going to boost your energy and help you to feel a bit more clear in the head. Now on a deeper emotional level and healing in this way, this is a great oil when you're feeling stuck or congested in your life. Just as this is an amazing oil for clearing congestion of our lungs and our respiratory system, it's gonna help on that deeper level to clear out all the muck and all the things that stop us from going forward. Are you feeling that you're not clear in where you need to go or is something holding you back? Start working with this oil and just as it allows us to breathe in more life, it allows us to breathe in more opportunities, more clarity, and allow the flow of life to go more easily. So this is an amazing essential oil for anyone who is at a standing point, not sure which way to go. This is gonna be really quite powerful to help you start moving freely with the flow of the universe once again. Okay, so then things didn't quite go to plan. After doing a bit of filming in the morning, the other reason I was in the West Australian Wheat Belt was to actually help with a bit of a project. You see, Eucalyptus cochii is used to desalinate the soil. In the wheat belt, there's been large areas of clearing to obviously create farmland, to grow wheat and other crops as well. And this of course causes um, erosion of the soil and the soil to become rather salty. By planting the eucalyptus cochii around the perimeters of these areas, it helps to reduce the amount of salt in the soil. Plus, companies are now using this to sequester carbon as part of a carbon bank to help with global um, climate change as well. So I was there and um, helping to basically plant some of these um, little seedlings and help. Now, when they told me that the people that did it on an everyday basis were planting one about every few seconds, I was like, how on earth are you gonna do that? Well, this is how you do that.
So then the plan was, after doing a bit of seedling and planting, to have the afternoon to finish off the filming. But then, unfortunately, as you could probably hear, the winds were picking up throughout the day and it got rather stormy and the heavens opened and it rained for the rest of the afternoon. So I didn't get to finish the video. So it's a few days later now and I'm coming back to join you and tell you a little bit more about Eucalyptus cochiae. Often when we look at large trees like eucalyptuses, we focus on that big trunk, those branches going out, and those beautiful leaves, which gift us the essential oils. But we have to be reminded that half that tree emerges deep into the earth. And this is where eucalyptus cochai really brings our awareness to the magic here on earth. Often as we explore spirituality, we wonder what's happening up in the skies, up in the heavens, but we are here having a physical incarnation here on this planet. And we, there is so much magic for us to discover here. In fact, as you work with Eucalyptus Kochai, it can actually enhance your understanding of the mineral kingdom and working with crystals. We're working with the plant kingdom anyway, that may be with essential oils or flower essences or food and nutrition, teas, whatever that may be, and even the teachings of the animal kingdom as well. In fact, going out in nature and inhaling your Eucalyptus Kochai can really help to connect with the nature beings and the nature spirits of the natural environment. One in particular is of course the gnomes. Now the gnomes are said to be the guardians of the element of earth. They are the keepers of the knowledge of the rocks, of the stones and all that we need for healing our physical bodies. So inhaling kochai while sitting out in nature can bring in those insights from the gnomes and maybe you may not see gnomes but you may hear or feel their influence and they may start to unveil their wisdom to you. You can also use kochai to help you because it's an air oil associated with the leaves to connect with the fey realms as well, which encourage you to lighten up, to be full of glee and laughter and playfulness and not to take things on too seriously. One thing I love to do with eucalyptus kochai is sit out in nature and just anoint my feet and really ground myself and feel that connection to earth. Of course, like other eucalyptuses, this is another great one to pop in like cleansing sprays and either cleanse your aura when you're feeling a bit dense and heavy or there's destructive energy around you or diffusing oil spritzing around the space is a great space cleanser as well. When it comes to the chakras, I find eucalyptus kochiai can work with two different chakras. Now the first one, we've just been talking about that real deep connection to the earth. Of course, the energy center that governs our connection to the earth and all that reside on here with us is the Earth Star Chakra. Now, this is a chakra that is a brown in color and light and is about 30 centimeters below your feet. And it helps you to feel a sense of oneness with the natural environment, with other people, with animals, plants, rivers, streams, whatever that may be. So you can, again, by anointing the soles of the feet or spritzing below your feet and visualizing roots going into the ground, just like the eucalyptus cochai roots, send deep into that ground as real, send that tap root right down and feel that heartbeat of Mother Earth and feel that oneness and connection. The other thing is eucalyptus is because they work so beautifully with the, um, with the respiratory system and Kochai being one of the highest in eucalyptol or 1,8-cineol, which really helps to support our respiratory system, that of course works with the throat chakra and allows us to be more expansive more optimistic with our words in to expand our world in the way that we um, in the way that we speak to open people to new ideas and even to share new ideas so it's really great to anoint on the throat chakra as well for respiratory health but also with that throat chakra energy Eucalyptus kochai is going to be a really beautiful essential oil to help with that respiratory system. So mixing it with other oils that help with the respiratory system are going to be really beneficial as well. But because it's such a cleansing one as well, think about some different oils that are great for cleansing and opening up space. You know, oils such as lemon, lemongrass, lime, litsia are really going to help to cleanse a space and bring a sense of optimism and, and refreshed joy back to a space as well. But I'd also encourage, try mixing eucalyptus cochiae with different Australian oils. Remember that Australia is a stronghold of the Lemurian civilization, that ancient culture that lived at one, as one with the natural world, with the animals, with the crystals, with the plants, with the moon and the planets and so on. And so when we bring in all these other magical oils from this area, this can be really, really quite potent. Some that I find blend really well with eucalyptus cochiae are things like Fragonia, Rosalina, 
lemon myrtle, lemon tea tree, and Australian sandalwood are really beautiful. So try mixing some of them together. Now, of course, as you want to focus primarily on that throat chakra on an energetic level, and I find all eucalyptus oils, all cypress oils, and all chamomile oils all work really well together. So try combining the eucalyptus cochai with other eucalyptuses, cypresses, and chamomiles, and see what magic you can work that way. Now, have you come up with a really amazing blend for eucalyptus cochai? I'd love to hear about it. Please leave a comment in the section below so we can all try different blends together. When you're working with eucalyptus cochai, you can also bring in other gifts from Mother Nature to help enhance whatever you're doing. Now, I've been focusing a lot on understanding the magic of the earth, and a crystal that's really great for helping with that is this one here. It's called Indigo Gabbro. Now, it's not from Australia. It's actually from a nearby country. Well, nearby land-wise, there's a bit of an ocean in between. Madagascar, sometimes known as Indigo Gabbro or also Merlinite. Now, when we think about that energy of Merlin, Merlin was a magician who worked with plants and crystals and all the things that were on the earth to manifest and you know create magical workings whatever that may be or whatever his intent may be at the time and gabbro this indigo gabbro really really helps you to kind of connect with the magic of the earth and remind you that hey you're here having a physical experience focus your spirituality on here and don't worry just about what's having happening on the heavens just like eucalyptus kochai must have those strong roots in the ground in order to grow and flourish then Gabbro allows us to do the same, to make sure that our magic and our spirituality is grounded on this physical reality as well. When it comes to animal wisdom, any of the eucalyptuses, it's really hard to look past koala. Of course, koala has an intimate um, relationship with eucalyptuses because that's all they basically eat. You, uh, koalas also teach us to slow down, to simplify our lives, to get rid of things that don't serve us. And you know, whether that be in the food that we're eating or the company that we're keeping, that's exactly what um, koala teaches them. So, you know, smelling kochai essential oil, um, meditating and visualizing a koala near you. What if koala could talk to you? What would koala give you as a word of advice? Now, what you'll find on the eucalyptus trees like eucalyptus kochai, the blossoms are white and white flowered plants have a connection to the moon. Kochai is beautiful for working around the full moon and that real expansiveness is really quite powerful. It also is associated with the star sign of cancer. Now, the cancer aspect of life is our home life. So use Kochai to clear out any unwanted energy in your home space. Around anything that's kind of heavy or dense around family or loved ones, Kochai is gonna be beautiful for that. Of course, the moon rules Monday, and that's gonna be the best day to work with your eucalyptus Kochai, especially if you're doing anything kind of metaphysical with it. Now, remember when it comes to essential oils, that not all essential oils are created the same. In fact, anywhere between 75 and 90% of essential oils sold on the market are actually not from the plant. So if you'd like to know more about where to get pure essential oils from that are actually gifted from nature, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear about your experiences of eucalyptus kochai as well. So please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.